What's going on guys? What's happening? Hey, uh, got a, uh, about three yards left for the day. We are going to get rain. A uh, customer left some fertilizer at their house for their backyard. I'm just going to stop by and throw it down for him real quick. You're not allowed to charge for that unless you have a license. Trust me, do not be charging for that. Anyway, your favorite person is here. What's up, honey? It is you. How are you? Oh, I'm not doing too bad. A wonderful muggy day because <laughs> the rain is coming here in Columbus. Yes, it is. You're looking pretty. You gotta love springtime in Ohio. Yeah, and springtime in Ohio. I was thinking about you know what do you what do you really talk about in your videos every day because you you really have to find something you know, to teach on. And today, with the rain coming, it's it's perfect. So we'll talk about it later, but I've got to get this small little granny yard done and uh, I'll get some footage of that and the one down the street. I'll be back. Hey guys so the last house i just did that you saw the lady came out and of course she wants mulch so i think we're up to 22 of them now <laughs> it's it's gonna be an insane year don't know how i'm gonna do it just by myself and of course d'angelo but you know what you figure it out i don't want to turn the money away if i have to i have to but uh Hey, I got to get on the next one, which is right here. I'll be cutting this one. I'll get some footage of that for you. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it needs it. So I'll be back.
is a mess. That's what we get here in Ohio. Uh, it's almost, well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's thick, it's wet, it's clumpy. It's a double cutting nightmare is what it is. And uh, I'll still have to blow some of that around. Just, man, what a mess this thing is. But that's what we get. And uh, we got more rain coming in later, like I said. But uh, let me finish this side up over here in the back, but I'll get some more footage for you. so that one's done as you can see and I'm sure people are gonna say what about the marks on the drive or the walkway well if any of you know what new poured concrete does it's very grippy and no matter which way you do this yard you're gonna step on you're gonna drive on to concrete Best thing you can do is scuff it with your boot, blow it off. Rain will take it away. So, and I'm going to tell you right now, there's not a guy that works in Columbus that doesn't know what those marks are. It's wet grass. It's newer concrete. You can blow it, blow it, scrape it. The rain takes it away. So, before anybody flips out on me, but uh, I'll tell you what, that, that stuff was thick and wet. Um, believe it or not, even though it's 80 degrees, that grass stays wet until about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So you're not going to avoid it. That's why I go with Skag, because Skag cuts wet grass a lot better than anything I've ever used so anyway guys let's get on to the last one I know a lot of you who've been watching the channel this is your favorite so hey if you enjoy the video hit the like hit the subscribe and I'll see you in a minute all right guys a lot of you are gonna remember this yard some of you won't but this is my favorite Anyway, this is my favorite yard. It's windy out today. Hey guys, Smoky Mountain, if you're trying to quit chewing, okay, get Smoky Mountain. It's herbal snuff and it's really good and it takes away the cravings. Let's go to work.
All right, guys, that is it. It's all done. And uh, this one really needed cut bad. This is the one where uh, D'Angelo and I did a cleanup the other day on Monday. And uh, so, yeah, there it is. Looks good. Pretty happy with that 48. Doing a really good job. But, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Some of this grass can get wet, nasty. Got to double cut it. And, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely we'll have one tomorrow because I've got some some big ones tomorrow. So, I think I've got a acre and a half, two acres a small granny yard then a really nice one and then a field the field that i cut so yeah it's going to be a busy day and uh i'll definitely miss the 52 on that on the acreage but it's only once a week man it's not a big deal anyway hope you enjoyed this one let's go say bye to uh the lovely wife honey did you have fun absolutely I'm just waiting for the mulch to fly. Yeah, she is actually going to help uh, mulch and edge this year, right? Well, I'm going to do my best. I don't know how much help it'll be. <laughs> so you guys keep watching. She will be in the videos. And uh, tell you what, man, get out there. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Anyway, what I was going to tell you, D'Angelo and I were talking. And, you know, you've only got... Well, we only have eight months to make our money. So if you take four months out of a year, that's a lot taken away from us. Um, so when people say, man, you're working on Sundays, you better believe it. I'm not passing up a $1,000 mulch job on a Sunday just to set it home. Now, if I'm going to church, that's a different story, but... Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Guys, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I'm out of here.